Oh yeah. How you doing guys? Hope everything's okay. You feeling fine? I hope life's treating you good. Okay, dodgy angle, dodgy equipment, I'm on my phone. And the reason why I'm on my phone is simple, because I want to show you guys something. I want to show you guys something that's simple, but without all the gimmicks, without all the pictures, without all the, hi, well, you do this and you do that kind of voiceovers, all the little props that people put up on videos. And, and then when you go into crawl spaces or you go into cabinets or you go, you know, under grotty places, these grotty places that would normally be grotty, absolutely sparkling clean and sparkling white. I mean, whose cupboard under the sink, for example, is sparkling white and clean? It might be. It might be. But what I'm trying to say is it's one of those grotty places. It's one of those places that you don't go very often. Therefore, it's going to be a little bit cobwebby, a little bit, a little bit damp on the smell, etc, etc, etc. So, as I said to you, I'm going to show you as it normally is and not none of these gimmicks because I've watched the videos. Plus the fact is there's certain other videos that I've watched that people give you in correct advice. Like for example, this one I'm going to do you now, which is very, very quick, and for good reason, um, is to do with your cold water stock cock. Now, I've seen videos where they're like, oh, if you can't find your stock cock, go and ask your neighbour. Go and ask your neighbour. What happens if your neighbour's not in? Or what happens when you go and ask your neighbour, their stock cock, Ain't where your sock supposed to be. What happens if you go and knock a neighbour and that neighbour's got a completely different flat or house set up to you? All the time you're walking up and down, knocking on neighbours' doors, yeah, it's all gushing out all over the place in your home, slowly filling it up like a swimming pool. Okay? So, listen, I could give you all the... I've got the Iron Movie and all that. I can go and download certain film things from the internet, start giving you stupid pictures in the background, stupid music in the background. I could start putting writing all over. I'm not like that. I'll give it to you straight, down to earth, dagging a message style. Okay? Right, listen carefully, guys, because this was a problem the other day. And I actually rescued someone, so bless her anyway. Okay. Listen to this, right? In bed. A few weeks ago now, uh, not long, but a few weeks ago now, I was in bed, got up, normal school day, <coughs> excuse me, got up, normal school day, and as I got up, I can hear, what was that noise? Anyway, I've come at me, what's the name? Because you're still in my kitchen, you're at a different angle as what I normally do me cooking. Anyway, to cut my story short, I've come out, and as I've come out, I've walked down my passage here towards this kitchen door that you can see that coat hanging on, as I've come through, the, there's water. Everywhere, it's coming through the ceiling. It's absolutely coming from everywhere on the ceiling you can think of. As I've walked into the room and it's coming through the ceiling, doof. I've looked around like that. That's it. The electrics are gone. <laughs> electrics. <laughs> Circuit breaker tripped. That's it. Everything's gone. All the sockets and all the lights are gone. That's it. No electricity in here anywhere. I'm standing in this kitchen on this morning. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. There's water pouring out of the ceiling. It's going everywhere. Okay. <laughs> obviously, I know. Obviously, upstairs, the flat above, it's got a leak. All of a sudden, gone out there. Bless her. Lady upstairs, crying her eyes out. Mark, 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 Mark. I've done it again. I've done it again. My washing machine's leaking. Can you help me? Can you help me? So I said, yeah, sure. Okay. Calmed her down. She's crying her eyes out. Bless her. She's got her kids up there. Blah, blah. Oh, mate. Absolute nightmare for her. And I bless her. I really do. So it's, my wife's just come up on a text message anyway. That's it. I've got a vibrate on me Fitbit. Anyway, enough of that. She's in a panic. She's in a panic, guys, because she can't stop her water coming out. She believes her water is coming out of her washing machine pipes. Because what she's done is she had a delivery a little bit later on, the eight, nine o'clock, for a new washing machine. So when she got up in the morning, she's pulled her washing machine out to dismantle it, to take the pipes off, to unplug it, to pull it out, ready for when the guy delivers a new one. What she didn't do was turn the water off first. So of course, as she's undone the little thing like that, that's it, water everywhere, absolutely everywhere. This is called water tap. 
that feeds the back of our washing machine. That's under full mains pressure. You ain't stopping it. And they're gonna put your finger in it. That ain't gonna work. You ain't stopping mains water pressure with your finger. Okay? Putting you over the end of it. It's can't do that. So I went up to her. Went up there, our entire flat floor. There's water gushing out everywhere behind a washing machine. I said, have you turned your water off? I don't know how to, I don't know how to, Mark, I don't know how to. What do I do, what do I do, what do I do? I said, where's your stopcock? What stopcock? I said, the stopcock that turns your water off. Where's your stopcock? What's the stopcock? I said, hold on a minute. Boof, I hit the deck. I hit the deck and I did this. Now I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you because this is exactly what I did in our house. Because let me tell you guys, most, not all, but most domestic cold water stopcocks to turn your main tap off, which I'll show you in a minute, is below the kitchen sink normally, okay? Normally. So that's what I did. So let me take, pick this up, okay? So I then turn around like this. I then bent down, I dropped to my knees. Don't forget this is my one, okay? And if I can tip it towards you, like that, in this, Dirty Gunji cupboard. There you go. There it is, right there. Here it is, let me point it out to you. I'm literally using this camera blind at the moment because you're on the front and I'm on the back. But there's a guy here. I don't know whether you can see it. This guy here. As the water's all gushing out the back of a washing machine, I'll put my hand down here like that, grabbed over this guy, went shh. Give him a few turns, give him a few turns, all of a sudden, water, was, water went off. Stop the water. Please don't have a go at me if that picture weren't all that just now. As I said, I turned my phone around, you're on the front screen, and I was just literally turning it blind. Stop cock. Bent down, went into a cupboard, just literally because it was an emergency, grab a Bottles and I went bang, just moved the bottles out of the way like that. But the stock cock, all of seconds, absolutely seconds, that water stopped. Seconds. Panic over. Obviously, we weren't a panic over. Our entire flat's flooded. My entire kitchen is flooded. All my electrics are blown. Absolute nightmare. So, what I did. <laughs> Because what went was some of the light switches and some of the plug points, but not all the plug points went. Luckily enough, the boiler, my electric boiler, weren't affected. I thought, what do I do? How do I get water? Because obviously the water that trips the circuit breaker. I'm not going to touch it. I ain't putting, I ain't pressing the mains circuit breaker fuse box switch when it's full of water. Uh, so, what do I do? What do you do? This is what I did, guys. Luckily enough, and only luckily enough, you might not be as lucky, my boiler wasn't affected. So I simply switched my boiler on, switched my central heating on up to full, closed the door out here, closed my back door, and made it like a bleeding oven out here. And over the course of the day, because my, let me show you, over the course of the day, and I turn it upside down, there's my fire alarm, and there's my light. All I've got, if I put my phone up, all that is is plasterboard. I don't know whether you can see, I'm literally working blind again. Can you see them cracks? That, can you see them cracks? I don't know whether you can see them cracks. Can you see them cracks? Do, doing it blind, don't forget them cracks. I don't know whether you can see them. Them cracks are what that water made the day it came through. Okay? Now that was my plasterboard ceiling. My plasterboard ceiling was absolutely covered in water. You could see it. It is spread out like that. Put me situated on. Done. Took, blimey, two, three, maybe four hours worth of constant, full power, gas central heating, out in here. All me four burners on, me gas cooker, and me toaster on, pulled the tray out. It was like an absolute furnace out here. But then slowly, as you kept coming out and checking, you could see the water clouds on the ceiling slowly going like that. Until eventually, after about three or four hours, this entire room, apart from it being 150 degrees, uh, was completely dry. So, out comes the air dryer for the plug point that I did have, that was everything was okay, out comes the air dryer. 
inside my plug socket. So yeah, I should manage to dry everything that I could dry out and then take the gamble. In my cupboard, circuit breaker. Give me lights. Now you've got to bear in mind, this water was pouring out of my, this, you can see that bulb still. Water was coming off the end of this bulb here and then just running down the puddle on this floor. That was what it was like four hours ago. Four hours now, it's completely dry. It goes to the circuit breaker for the lights, turns it back on. Done. Okay. So the object of this video, guys, is to show you that one, don't panic. Things can always be sorted out, okay? Things can always be sorted out. So if you find that your washing machine goes, water's gushing everywhere, or underneath your sink goes, water's gushing everywhere. If water is gushing everywhere and is somewhere else other than where it's supposed to be, go to the source. Don't mess around with a washing machine, don't mess around with your sink, don't mess around coming and knocking in the neighbor's door. Don't worry about that. If you've got water gushing out, what's the first thing you do? It's just like cut on your arm. You've got a cut on your arm, what's the first thing you do? Your arm's now got a cut, it's now leaking blood. So what's the first thing you would do if you're leaking blood? Huh? Stop the leak. And the only way to stop the leak is to stop the blood coming out. Now you can't cut the blood off, but you can. Tourniquet. <clears throat> oh, as you can. Stop the blood. Same thing with the water. That's the first thing you've got to do when the water's gushing out. Stop it gushing out. So the first thing you go is to what's feeding it. And what's feeding it is that stopcock. Okay? So nine times out of ten, you'll grab hold of that stopcock. It's off. You can then sort the problem out that you've got and turn your water back on afterwards. Oh no, before you say, oh, stop, all stop cocks don't always work, Mark. You know, I turned my stop cock the other day, you know, I turned it off completely and it's still dripping. That's a different issue altogether and a different video altogether. You guys want me to show you that? I'll show you that, it's not a problem. There's plenty of videos on here that tell you how to change your stop cock. Not an easy job, as in being able to stop your water before it gets to the stop cock. Okay, because after the stopcock going outside, that goes to the mains, and I'm not messing around with mains water, okay? Stopcock's as far as I'll go. All right, so, because my missus said to me, you do all these DIY jobs, Mike, you get yourself out of the crap every time, why don't you show these guys on YouTube? So, but I don't know, you know me, I don't like stepping on no one's toes or anything like that. So, I'm not going over the top of any of the other videos on YouTube to deal with stopcocks. I'm just telling you what happened with me, what I had to deal with, how I dealt with it, and then what I did afterwards. That's all. Take it or leave it. It's only 12 minutes anyway. Take it or leave it. I'm gonna go through a series of things that every time I come up against a problem I deal with here, I'm gonna show you. Okay? It'll either be useful to you, say, Mark. What the hell are you showing me that for? This is about as interesting as watching paint dry. Okay? I'm watching another video then, all right? Okay, right, nice one. All right, so I've got a big long list of things that I've got to do. I mean, to-do list. Uh, so that was one of them the other day with the stopcock. Um, show you the car one the other day. Anything else I've got to do, we'll get on it together. We'll have a look and we'll sort it out and I'll show you. Uh, for the menu later on tonight is me uh, sausage batter and chips. So my, so my homemade uh, beer batter, my homemade beer batter and Cumberland sausages. My own homemade salt potatoes. Then I'll do my own homemade tartar sauce and I'll stick loads of gherkins and loads of pickled onions and. If I can be bothered, and it's that minted mushy peas, yummy. Okay, so, but I've already shown you me bear batter fish a while ago, so it's exactly the same, which is with a sausage. Okay, you set me where I don't do bear batter sausage, Mark. Exactly the same. I make the batter as you did with the fish. We just take the fish, bread of fish, sausage, flour, batter. That's it. A few minutes. Take it out. Is this as good as a chip shop? No, they're better. Okay, anyway, enough of that crap. Staying with me on that one. Be lucky if I get three views for this, but I don't care. Just helping some guys out, out there who, like this woman, panicked that morning. <clears throat> she panicked. She didn't know what to do. Thank you, my darling. She came to the first and only person that she knew would be able to help her, and that was me, so I appreciate you coming to me. And I did. I helped her within seconds. Now, I'm showing you, to help you in seconds, what you can do if and when that happens to you. God forbid it don't, and 
keep my fingers crossed that it don't. Alright? Okay. Wanna know anything else? Let me know. And I said, <laughs> what else can I say? That's it, it's like 11 o'clock now, so that's it, that's done for that video. 15 minutes, filled enough of your time. Take care, love ya, all the best. Remember, stay safe. Yeah? See you later, guys. Hey.